Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use folders to share effects in Reaper. Now, this is also similar to grouping our effects. Because in Reaper, we don't really have the ability to group our plugins or effects, where all the parameters move together in sync, but we can achieve the same thing using folders. So let me show you how to set this up. We have a track in front of us here with some drums and some strings. Let's see what it sounds like. So in green, we have three drum tracks, and these rose-colored tracks are our strings. We have a cello, a viola, and two violins. And we want to add the same effects to all the strings at the same time, with the same settings, maybe some EQ, some reverb, or delay. And if we add the same thing to each track, it's going to take up too much DSP or CPU processing unnecessarily as you want the same settings on each track. Now, if we wanted to send different amounts to each track, we would use effect sends and returns. But because we want the same effect on all the tracks exactly the same, we should use folders. So let's create a folder underneath the drums. I'll select this track, go to the track menu, insert a new track, and this track will be our strings folder. And to make it a folder, we'll go down here into the lower right corner and just click this button, the plus button. And now all these tracks are in this folder, our strings folder. So if I solo it, we're just gonna hear these four tracks. So anything we do to the folder track is gonna affect all our strings. So the first thing I'm noticing is that the strings sound a bit dark. So let's brighten them up with some EQ. Go to our effects. Let's go to the Reaper effects right here. And let's choose Refer, which can behave like a standard EQ. And we can create points and EQ our strings. Let's resolve it. So we're just hearing the strings. And let's take a look at the frequency response of our string part. Notice most of the information is in this range over here, in the low end. That's why it sounds a bit dark. So let's change that by adjusting our EQ. We'll start by reducing the low and mid range. And then we'll boost the upper mid range. Four. It's pretty dark. After. It's actually a bit too bright. Let's back it off a bit. That sounds better. Let's hear it in the track. Before. Much better. Now if we want to change the EQ on all the strings at the same time, we can just do it right here 
instead of doing it on the individual tracks. So we're sharing processing, but we're also grouping the effects, as any change we make here is going to affect all the tracks at the same time. It's much more efficient, and it's also a lot quicker, as we can change things on the fly. Let's add another plugin. Let's add a delay. We use the Reaper delay right here. And let's set this to a quarter note with a little bit of feedback and find a level with the wet sound for the delay. That feels pretty good. Kind of washes it out a bit. And now let's add a reverb. We use the reverb right here. And I'm going to bring in an impulse response to create a reverb plate. Right here. Use a vocal plate. Let's blend that in as well. Before, it's quite an improvement. And like I said, we could add any effects to our folder, and it's going to affect all the child tracks at once. So we're basically sharing effects, but we're also grouping them, as anything we change here affects all the strings at once. So that's pretty much it. That's using folders to share effects in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.